Landlord-tenancy agreement is a common agreement all Nigerians has entered into at one point in time. Disputes around this agreement is something that is also quite, quite common. Today on Seven Legal, we'll be talking about the rights of landlords. We'll educate you on the disputes and how to resolve issues as it surrounds this type of agreement. This is Seven Lego, I'm Olachi Anyokwa. But before we go on a commercial break, I have someone from Ikpazu Chambers, Senior Associate Ikpazu Chambers, Mr. Julius Mba Esquire. But let's go on a commercial break, by the time we'll come back, continue on the show. For advanced placement, you can call the number on your screen. And you can visit our website at www.7fm.tv. 7 TV Nigeria. 7 TV, it's all about you. This is Seven Lego. I am Olachi Anikwa. Today we will be discussing rights of landlords, disputes that comes around this type of legal landlord tenancy agreement. And we to discuss in today's show is Mr. Julius Ba. How are you, sir? I'm good. Let's just get into the, the show proper. Can you educate us on the rights of landlords? Is there any written down constitutional laid down rules that guides landlords and the way they handle issues in Nigeria? Interestingly, the landlord, as it is so called, is referred to one who owns a property. Either a woman or a man. And as it is, the constitution at section 43. When I say constitution, I'm making reference to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999. At 4.3, guarantees each and every one of us as Nigerians to own property anywhere in Nigeria. Immovable properties, which now gives right to landlord and tenant relationship. This right as created, having given us the right to own immovable properties, a landlord has rights over these properties. One is a right against compulsory acquisition. Two, right to compensation in the event the government wants to take over his property in any state where such is. The landlord has right of rent if you must occupy someone's property as a tenant. What crystallizes that relationship is rent paid to the landlord. The landlord has right to determine who becomes his or her tenant. The landlord has rights to evict the tenant when the need arises. The landlord has rights to visit or inspect the said property already let out. The landlord has rights to issue notices to the tenants if need be. These notices are called statutory notices. The landlord has rights to review we we'll call it in ordinary parlors increase. When you say review ordinarily, you can even review and bring it down, depending on the economic situation of the country or whatever the landlord decides to do with his property. Okay. Rarely, you don't see landlord reviewing down. You see it going up. Mm -hmm. That is why we see it as increase at all times. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. This right, most importantly, is the right to repossess. You know, tenancy is squared to possession. When I give out a property to you as a tenant, that does not mean you become the owner anytime, any day, mm -hmm. except we enter into agreement of outright purchase or sale. So I should retain that right of repossessing my property. Okay at all time. Before we get into the rights properly, are there things that when someone sees and says, mm, I cannot get into this property, or when someone sees in a, an agreement, say, okay, like, I'll get into this property, what are some of the clauses that are right to, to be seen in, in this type of agreement? Okay. As it is, an agreement, a formal agreement 
to take over someone's property as a tenant, one should start with the date in which you're now going into this contract. Mm -hmm. Tenant relationship is a contract. Mm -hmm. And it runs for a specific period. It's a periodical agreement. When you look at the time, mm -hmm. the time is as to date. Okay. When is this tenancy agreement starting and when will it terminate? Mm -hmm. It should be for a certain time. Mm -hmm. When you live there, then you look at the, the parties. Sometimes, you know, you cannot enter agreement with minors. Mm -hmm. Is this person a good person for you to enter an agreement with? Then you look out for the, those. These are the clauses. You look out for the rent, the actual money that you're paying. I, I think I'm getting it right to you. Now, when you see that this rent is something you can pay, you now say, "Oh, I'm interested." Mm -hmm. Then going down, you look at the clauses as per. Now, the landlord will say that this property is to be used for lawful purposes only. Mm -hmm. Two, that this property you cannot sublet it without my consent. What's the example of unlawful practices? Give us one example of unlawful practices. Sorry. Okay, now there are some transactions or things that are statutorily prohibited. Mm -hmm. For instance, you cannot use if I, if I have a property that I want to let to you, mm -hmm. I will tell you you cannot use this property for training. Because here in Nigeria, it's against public policy, for, against public policy to trade in prostitution. Okay. I will tell you that you won't use my property for that. So that's unlawful. Okay. Yes. Or that using it for, for drugs that are prohibited in Nigeria. Okay. I will tell you that this property is not in for that. Okay, you were saying something about um, landlords having rights to rent. Is there a legal way, is there a constitutional way for quick notices to be given? Okay, quick notices as it is, is regulated by the law of the state where the property is situated. Okay. For instance, in Lagos State, they have tenancy law that regulates the time. That is the length of time the landlord is required to give to the tenant for him to know that this tenancy comes to an end. Mm -hmm. Quick notice as it is, the primary function of it is to determine tenancy. To, sorry, sir? To determine, that is to terminate. Terminate, okay. okay. So and, uh, under our Recovery of Premises Act here, mm -hmm. a yearly tenant okay. is entitled to six, no, six months notice. A yearly tenant, six yearly months? Six months oh, notice. Wow. If, if the parties did not agree otherwise. Okay. If there is a, 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 a contract, tenancy agreement stating otherwise, you will not revert back to what the law says. But in the absence of that, in the absence of that contract, the law will take its place. Mm. Let's move a little further because yes. we are out of time a little. Yes. When it comes to increasing of house rent, you said there is no house. Okay, it's actually it's rarely for them to come down or to increase. Is there still a statutory way of because there's been unusual increase, especially in Abuja properties, the increase in the rent and the prices of the properties is actually going up really well. Is there a lawful way of increasing property or does landlords just wake up and decide to increase rents anytime? Okay, the there is no measure mm -hmm. because uh, an owner of a property reserves the right to determine what the, his, his property will go for. Wow. However, however, what the what the law enjoys us to do, mm. either as a landlord or a tenant, mm. is to compare the price of the property in question with every other property within that axis. Mm. And increase it with the increase it with the economic mm -hmm. situation. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's now the landlord's right to say because I've made this a survey, general survey, mm. and this is what is obtainable within this environment. Mm. And then from so, so time to so time, there's no time. Mm. You can give a rent review mm. to your tenant anytime. Okay. 
except the tenant decide not to go into a fresh agreement with you on the new rent. Okay, okay, sir. When you were mentioning the rights of the landlords, you talked about land for forceful acquisition. Yes, yes. against but forceful acquisition. Against, uh, against forceful acquisition. There's this recent thing that I've been going on, even when I was growing up back then in the east where the government comes up and takes up a particular plot of land, say it's theirs. And sometimes they, they promise compensation because also you said that they were, they are rights to compensation, but sometimes they don't do this. First of all, I want to ask, what is a landlord's right to forceful acquisition? And what should, what should a landlord do when his or her property has been forcefully um, acquired from, from, from a, a higher authority? Okay, in, the, in, that, in this regard, mm. what guys this kind of scenarios is the law called Land Use Act of 1978. Okay. The act says that every land in the state is in the hands of the governor, holding in trust, mm -hmm. holding in trust for the for the statutory for the persons, or let's have it in this manner because we know before the government. Uh, the individuals had the right over their lands. So, but now the land users are now come to say that these lands should be in the hands of the state governors. Wow. Here, like in Abuja, mm. it should be in the hands of the president. But the president now empowers the minister to perform those functions. Where land is acquired forcefully, it's not even proper to start with. Because the same land you had, had said that for you to acquire this land, mm. you must follow the due, this stipulated procedure. What are those due stipulated processes that they should follow? For instance, okay. one, you should notify the persons in occupation, mm. give them due notice that you want to acquire their property. And give them the reason why you are acquiring. You cannot take from Mr. E and give to B. The reason must be for public interest. Government does not acquire property from A and give to B. You can't rob Peter and pay Paul. So when you're now acquiring for this public purpose, you must compensate the owners of these lands. And where that is not done, the owners of these lands has right to proceed to court to challenge the accusation. Mm. One, that is not done in compliance with the law. Forceful accusation mm. is not done in compliance with the law. Mm. Okay, okay, let's, let's move to the compensation. When they have been fully or probably forcefully uh, acquired, uh, do the government compensate based on their desire or is there also a process whereby these landlords that their house has been acquired forcefully or by a powerful man, is there a process whereby these things can, um, the, the compensation follows? Yes, you check, you look at the, the value of the land in question. Compensation is based on that. The government will assess the compensation mm. as per the value of the land. There is no powerful man anywhere mm. when it comes to. There is powerful man when there is money. No, 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 no. Mm. There is no powerful man anywhere that will come and take your 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 rights or take your property. I want to see if the person has a team of lawyers at the back trying to defend him because I realize that sometimes you win your case in your courts when you have. Sons, people backing you up, and you see this young man has only one small lawyer who is just starting life. I can't win his case. So, what do you have to say about that? It's not. It's not, it's not about small person or small lawyer. Mm. It's about your case. If you have a good case, you have a good case. Okay. Is now what is now remains with for you to do is to present that case you have mm. for the habitat for the judge to hear you. Mm. If the court hears you, mm. the court will not look at the big man's face as you describe the person. I'll look at you as a small person and give judgment. The court, will, because here we practice adversarial system. Mm. And the, the adversarial system is where the judge will sit, listening to the parties, presenting their cases, mm -hmm. and thereafter will deliver judgment or decision as the case may be. It's not about the big man mm. that you described it, 
or a small man issue. Mr. Junius, I hope our justice system is, is, is viable enough to get some of this justice because I know a lot of people have come to this kind of scenario and they couldn't get their properties back. But anyway, thank you very much for coming to the show. We've come right at the end of today's show. I'm super excited to have um, had Mr. Julius Mba from Ipazu Chambers. If your land is forcefully acquired by any man or any government and you know you have the right right now to go and also get this land back and have proper compensations for the acquired properties. This is Olachi and Ikwa and it's seven legal. We'll come to you next week with another interesting topic. Do have a blessed weekend.